What's good fam? Welcome back to the channel. Now today we are comparing these two awesome controllers. We have the Hercules Impulse T7 versus the Rain 1. Stay tuned! Now obviously if you haven't been on my channel yet, if you like this type of content, gear reviews, comparisons, gig logs and DJ related stuff, Make sure to like down below and don't forget to subscribe so I can keep making videos for you guys, alright? Let's go! Now I know some of you are probably wondering why am I comparing these two controllers? An entry level controller and a pro controller. Now, Hercules is pretty new to the motorized moving platter game. We're gonna see just how well the Hercules stacks up against a tried and true pro controller. So the Rain 1 being out for three to four years now has actually gone down in price. So today's market value for the Rain 1 is now 1300 US, which is 1700 Canadian. So the Hercules T7 being the most affordable moving platter controller on the market today at $700 US, and $1,000 Canadian is at an amazing price point for those who want to get into scratching and turntablism. So there are a lot of similarities and of course differences, but we're gonna go through all the similarities and see what these controllers both have. So the first thing obviously is these controllers both have moving platters. Now, they are actually both the same size at seven inches. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is both of these systems have the same size tempo sliders as well, coming in at 10 centimeters, nice and wide for a big variety of mixing. The next thing that these systems have are FX paddles, really fun to play with on these controllers, and they also have six effect banks that you can trigger. Now keep in mind for both of these controllers that the effects are only software effects, no hardware effects at all. Of course, 16 RGB colorful pads that you can play with and look really nice when they're all lit up. They both also come with a standard loop section, auto loop, and manual loop. They also have load knobs, which you can also use to scroll through your library and crates. Now these both have elevated feet on them. The Rain 1 comes elevated already, while the Hercules has plastic feet that you can actually pull out from under on all four sides. And this comes handy for both systems for drink spillages and if you wanna run wires from under your actual system. Now what surprised me on the Hercules controller is that it has XLR and RCA outs. Now it doesn't surprise me on the Rain 1 because it is a pro controller. It does have both XLR and RCAs. But seeing it on the Hercules, pretty cool. Okay, so now that we got all the similarities out of the way, we're gonna start off with all the differences now. Starting off, first with the Hercules controller. Now the first thing that the Hercules has that the Rain 1 doesn't have is that beat match guide. Now I know it caters more to more than the beginner DJ for them to learn how to uh, beat match and everything, which is almost cheating, but it's not. It's a tool for them to learn, right? You can always turn it off if you don't need it, if you already know how to beat match. So that's a really cool thing that uh, Hercules has that the Rain 1 doesn't. One cool thing about the Hercules T7 is that the load button on the T7 lights up around it like a ring, red and blue when a song is playing. On the one, it'll light up red, and then the other ones will light up blue. Now, it all depends if your song is beat gridded properly, but it's cool that it has it on this system. Now, a plus for the Hercules T7 is that it only weighs 11 pounds. So light compared to the Rain 1, right? The Rain 1 actually weighs 23 and a half pounds. 
So another big difference between these two controllers is that the Hercules is a belt driven motor. Now this means that there's literally a belt that is turning the platters, a rubber belt. And a lot of OGs will say that this is a disadvantage that the, the belt will make it start really slow on startup. Honestly, I've played with this so many times and it's not even the case. It starts off right off the dime. So it's, it's not an issue, but that's the biggest difference is that it's belt driven versus direct drive. Another thing that's different with the Hercules is that you can download its native software that is, comes with Hercules, which is the Juiced software. And honestly, I, I downloaded it and it started with no problems at all. And last but not least, and my favorite on this controller is the dedicated stems button. Now, this is so clutch, especially for a controller at this price point. Now, those are the things that I like about the Hercules controller that are not on the Rain 1. Now, let's go to the Rain 1. Now, compared to the Hercules, the Rain 1 out of the box comes with a better crossfader. I'm not saying Hercules is bad, but it's not great, right? It's very, very stiff, but with an option to upgrade to the Innofader. You can upgrade uh, to the Innofader with the Hercules. The next thing I like about the Rain 1 is that it has two mic outputs as opposed to just one on the Hercules and it's only quarter inch. The two on the Rain 1 is XLR and quarter inch with a combi jack and you have controls as well, volume and you can control the lows and the mids. So a lot more control over the microphones and just better outputs. The next thing that I like about the Rain 1 is that it has booth outputs, right? For a monitor. Now that's what's lacking on the Hercules, but of course being it a uh, entry level controller, you kind of expect it. The next thing that I like about the Rain 1 is that you can accommodate two computers. Now it has two sound cards as opposed to just the one on the Hercules. It also has extra line outs for each channel, which are RCAs if you want to plug in uh, external turntables to the actual Rain 1. There's also an aux input that's RCA on the back that you can control on the front, which you can connect external devices such as iPads, iPhones, another laptop. Another thing that the Rain 1 has at the top, it has a needle search, which you can pretty much jump anywhere on the track. You can also adjust the torque on the actual platters on the back with the switch of a button. It has a option of doing high torque or low torque. The Rain 1 also has a sensor button just in case you need to use it. An obvious thing about the Rain 1 is that the build quality is just outstanding. It's built like a tank, has so much metal on it, as opposed to all the plastic on the Hercules. Of course, that's what makes it light, but then the quality on the Rain 1 is unmatched. Another thing I like about the Rain 1 as opposed to the Hercules is that the RGB pads on the Rain 1, you just literally need to tap it. It'll initiate right away on the Hercules are more clicky. You have to click them. So you have to press down on them a little harder to get it to work. Last but not least, what I like about the Rain 1 is that it uses a universal standard IEC to plug in while the Hercules has its own power adapter. So you literally lose that and you won't be able to uh, use the Hercules at all. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts on the Hercules. At the price point, you can't beat it. If you wanna get into the motorized turntable market for cheap, this is the way to go. It's more geared for beginners, but it has a ton of uh, pro features. You can't deny. Now, obviously the Rain 1 just blew the Hercules away, but you're paying the price for it. Now it's 
obviously 1300 you're almost paying double right so that's that my totally recommend the hercules t7 that's my uh comparison hope you guys liked it um comment down below let me know which one you guys like if i was spot on or what i off a little bit or what you guys think uh do you have the hercules t7 do you have the rain one let me know your thoughts and we'll talk about it all right now if you like this comparison please drop a like down below and please subscribe as well so i can keep doing videos for you guys all right so um that's about it we'll see you guys in the next one all right this is dj9 signing off Brr.